Oh, oh my god, we're in Mexico. Mexico we are in. Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Red Dead Redemption, and we're just going to get started with London Ricketts. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela. Is Javier to see? No sé, Senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio. The Stabacon, uh, Grande Americano? Yo no sé. No. Again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I am rocking that poncho, I'm not gonna lie. Mm, 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 damn, you look good, dude. Holy shit. Somebody's calling me and it's vibrating my table. Really? Then perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk. Get the fuck off. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually gonna move this the phone because it's vibrating my desk. I don't know if it's gonna start fucking with my recording. Dude. We got our horsies. Let's go London Ricketts. We got this. I'm gonna save um I forgot her name. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts. Not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Trust me, we're gonna fucking kill every last one of these sons of bitches. Alright, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See? Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. Bam, bam, bam. Sorry, sir. I did not mean to run into you. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh, yeah, God. That's totally back. my bad. I'm so sorry. Wait, there's just two of them. There's just two of them. Why don't we just do this? Yeah, there we go. That's so much better. Yeah, that's so much easier. Come on, guys. Use your head. This is so much easier. Come on, guys. <laughs> Dude, I, what are you, you guys are all on my ass. I literally am clearing out this whole area. What the hell? 
Check this out. Boom. Boom. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it ready. Uh, easy enough. I'll keep watch while you get it ready. I think that's a great plan. Dude, holy shit. It's just me and you, partner. Get behind the table. I'm gonna I think I'm far enough away, don't you think? All right, I'm getting be uh, Wait, hold on. I'm turned around. I got really dizzy and I All right, I'm coming. Uh Stand back, damn it. Here goes. Come on, boy. Poor girl's barely alive. Those right, goddamn sons of bitches. I'm going first. If you don't mind. Boom! God damn you, you goddamn cowards. Where'd you Oh, you're all out of breath trying to catch up to me? Oh, there we go. Let's go, baby. I'll go, I'll go, I'll, I'll be the first one to go. Because I'm a better shot. I mean, look at me. Holy shit, dude! I do not miss! And I also have auto-aim on. So of course I'm not gonna miss. Dude! There he is. Talk about Carlos. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Gasquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, our friend, or our brother, Let's go. is in Mexico. Perfect. We're gonna we're gonna find him and we're well I guess we're gonna figure out. Let's go here. Let's go to Decenta. Yeah. And I guess we're jumping right into the mission. I was gonna try to buy the house in the city down there, but what do you want, Gringo? What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. You think you're better than me? You come to my country, my poor little country, and you think you can be friends with the president? No, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Things must have come out wrong. Maybe you can help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> relax! I mean, relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's go meet drink. 
and then we'll talk. My name is Little Capitan shitter. Vicente de Santa. John Marston. My country is in pain, John Marston. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroyed a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. <laughs> and I am uh, no soldier, a killer. Mm -hmm. But we are both beholding to our time. A brave man. Perhaps you've heard of him. Coronel Alande. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. To keep our civilization alive. That is tough. The people are confused and usually swayed. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. <laughs> breaks my heart. I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the government. Or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They are possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills around here. They're united under one traitor named Abraham Reyes. Where could I find this Reyes? If I knew, I would be there, hunting him with everything that is true within me. Reyes finds you. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> but it's possible, though. My men are trying to lure him into a trap. Possibly you could ride with us. And if everything goes okay, I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Vámonos! Dude, I'm gonna fucking roofie that guy's drink. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. I'll ride on the wagon, baby. Cause look, once we get the ride on the wagon, check this out. I'm not joking, look. I'm not joking, dude. I'm not fucking joking. Check this out. Oh, I get to skip it. Great. That's awesome, dude. I got to skip it. I wanna just help all the little baby girls! Little... Oh. Are you ready? Ready for what? We will lure the rebels into a trap. There's a train leaving to Barossa soon. We're going to escort it. They will think it's a supply train, but there are no supplies on it. Very clever. We must throw the rats out of their holes. If there's some bait, they can refuse. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for my horse, man. There you are. <gasps> You're so adorable. You're so cute. Come on. Come on, horsey. I got it. I got it. I see him. Let's make sure we don't get run over by the train. Let's try to not shoot the train either. Ah! I'm coming. I'm c trying to get in front, baby. Got him. I'm trying not to. I'm having a hard time steering here over here. Bow. Bow. I thought I got that guy. I swear to God, I shot that guy in the head. No! Horsey, get out of the way! Horsey! Come here! No! Don't suicide yourself! You have a beautiful life ahead of you! No! Oh no, dude. This is going horribly wrong. John Marston, it's just fire. Calm down. We're going to have to jump off really quickly. Look, this is what we're going to do. Dude, John Marston must take, like, must be, like, taking serious supplements right now. Come here, horsey. I'm going to have to pick up one of these horsies. Come here. 
Come here! Come here, baby! Alright. No, no. Alright, we made it. Damn it, we lost our freaking steed. Todo bien, compadre? You did a good thing for Mexico today. Coronel Allende will be very pleased. Los rebeldes están robando el tren. Levántese, perezoso, que sepa que le estoy pagando. Marston, you're going to have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. Todavía levántese. Usted también. Y allá para muévase. ¿Qué le pasa a usted? Ay, Dios mío, levántese. Ya mismo. Okay. Son of a bitch, move it! Sorry, sir, I had to push you because you're in your fat little fucking ass was in my way. Gotcha. All right, we gotta get to the front. We gotta get to the front. Back it up, back it up. Get to the front. There we go. You got it. Good job, John Marston. You did it. Dude, they gave me 50 bucks. Fuck yeah. Por unos pesos podemos retirar a mi cuarto y conocernos mejor, eh? No me toques. Me gusta la I fold. No tengo nada. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Unlucky in love, lucky in cards. Garzon, champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Herr Muller. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I shall indeed, sir. Well then, your deal. <laughs> oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen, hey. Namakshon! Wow. Okay. Skip. Another American. Now I need two pairs of eyes. What? You know what I always say, Muller. So rude. Best to stop digging. How much money? All in. I'm gonna go all in, baby. I don't know how to play poker. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. You win. Oh shit. Skip turn. And I'm going all in. Let's go. No, thank you. I fall. Looks like you win twenty five. <laughs> Dude. You fucking cheat. Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking carts, you fucking cheat. Now, Herr Muller, let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh, yeah. You know exactly what you did. Yeah, I know exactly what I did, friend, which was nothing. Now, I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now calm down and let's finish the game. There's not, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. Uh, 
There must be a name for this. An impasse, sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. As you wish. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. Can we just shoot him now? A duel is all about time. If you pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully, like I showed you. Once you've picked your mark, the rest, my friend, is in the hands of fate. What are you waiting for, coward? I okay, dude. All right, let's get this started. This guy's been you pissing me off. You home, Yankee. All right, buddy. We'll see about that. Bow. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Mm. Come on, mm -mm -mm. we bring ourselves a drink. I think Mr. Muller's buying. Oh, he, it looks like he has a new pistol. Your health. <laughs> Dude! Oh, my leg on Marston, see? You like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> No puede ser. Oh, Dios mío. One, no, two, three. That's what you get, you little fucker. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's more? There's more of you little f you sons of bitches? You think it's funny to hurt people? Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity to this land. Then again, I doubt Muller will be missed. He wasn't much of a poker player. We got fifty dollars. Ugh. How much money did he have on him? Five dollars, you worthless son of a bitch. <gasps> oh, I rather actually I you know what? Let's go do London Ricketts again. I was gonna do another mission, but London Ricketts will do. Honestly, London Rick Ricketts is like so much fun. <laughs> hey Gringo! Mr. Ricketts. Come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well, you've killed people. You live the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. 
<laughs> Already had me a woman. Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> Been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them. Kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts. Mr. Ricketts. Thank the Lord I have found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! No, I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. Let's go get them, Let's them bad Escalera. guys. Uh, let me get my horse. Work. Let's go. What are you doing? Stick with me or don't ride with me at all. I literally, we just started riding, man. Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. Look! It's an army convoy. I got it. Damn! Who's next? No, don't shoot the horse. Horses are off limits. Got it. Oh my god, that was a long ass shot. Whoa there. Where we're going, buddy? Dude, these horses are starved. Can we feed them a carrot? Let's feed him an apple. I want to feed the ho the horses are starving. Think it's okay to starve horses? Oh my god. No you don't. We're almost there guys, don't worry.
Now, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. Oh, well, we did it. Oh, my God. Finally, sweet home, sweet home. 150 bucks, you fucking leech. Okay, guys, that is it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed, and I'm going to do circles around the room. Okay, whoa, wait, hold on. There's a hole right here. What the fuck? Dude, this house is 150 bucks, you fucking cheapskate. Alright, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.